thank you first at outset thanks dr manu chawla who has given this good vaccination workshop and my predecessors the speakers has told about the three vaccination which should be started since birth to the adulthood and even the age of 50 or up to 60. my topic has been given for the singles prevention for important part of this vaccine is this is for older is people and 65 plus is most the disclosure is this gs concert session so what slide i am presenting it is given by the gsk and i am mentioning the data which has been given by the gs herpes zoster is caused by reactivation of the varicella zoster vaccine the adults what we are getting in primary vaccine varicella infection that is chicken pox as the starting point and that will give the latency and then the varicella zoster vaccine virus establishes latency and the primary infection induced cell mediated preventing subsequent infection and reactivation and gradually it will reactivate the herpes zoster and this varicella varicella zoster virus can reactivate later in life causing the distinctive dermatomal rash and the pain everyone is doing how this diagnosis is done and what is my perception if any patient is getting infection then the treatment is more troublesome is painful thing so it is better to go for the prevention and that will be the better choice the natural course of the herpes zoster consists of prodermal and acute phases which can be followed by chronic complications initially 4 to 2 weeks is the prodermal phase then it comes under the acute phase 2 to 4 weeks then sub acute phase up to 3 month and 5 to less than 30% of the patients are going for the post herpetic neuralgia and it remains up to months to years that is the troublesome part and particularly aged people or those patients who are that we will discuss them is more painful thing so initially the headache photophobia and malaise abdominal skin sensation pain and in last the post herpetic neuralgia is defined as neuropathic pain that persists for more than 90 days after the onset of herpes zoster virus a typical forms of the herpes zoster can also present as unexplained pain without or precise appearance of the rash so sometimes the person is not aware of when he got the infection but he is having the pain but if it is in the unilateral number 1 and dermatome wise then you may think then if you will ask the history sometimes in the early adulthood or in the below 10 years the person has got the infection and the symptom has developed and this is the problem with this herpes zoster the varicella zoster vaccine reactivation can occur in intrig nervous system which does not project to the skin so does not cause rash the dermatomal neuropathic pain unilateral radial or localized pruritus radicular pain peripheral facial palsy or muscle paralysis without rash the lesions at the mucosa the auditory canal and viscera sometimes such as unexplained abdominal pain may be related to this herpes zoster uh, zoster is this is likely to be missed particularly or misdiagnosed resulting in delayed treatment this can lead to post herpetic neuralgia or fatal sequelae such as encephalitis cerebrovasculopathy and stroke but the rarest complication and you may get very few less than 1% of the population coming in this condition 
Now, what is global epidemiology of this herpes zoster? Overall incidence rate of herpes zoster is worldwide incidence is 3.0 upon 1000 to 5 per 1000 person year and age specific incidence is 50 to 60 year, 5 per 1000 person year in 70 to 80, 6 to 7 and among the 90 years and above it is 10 by 1000 person year. So as the age is progressing, the incidence is increasing. The risk of developing post herpetic neuralgia in patients with herpes zoster is 5 to 30 percent, and the risk of recurrence of herpes zoster is 1 to 6 percent. Long term follow up studies showed the higher risk 5 to 6 percent of the recurrence of herpes zoster. Now, what is the status of herpes zoster in India? In outpatient department, the review is that 27 studies from Jan January 23. 2011 to May 2020, the more than 50 years of age, 15 to 81.3 percent, whereas among them, post herpetic neuralgia is 10.22 to 54.7 percent. So, advanced age, HIV, diabetes, prolonged steroid use, malignancy, were frequently predisposing and comorbid condition, and among them, the incidence is a bit higher. Now, what is the burden of singles increases with age and comorbidity? So, if you will see this graph, graph is showing clearly as the age is advancing, the incidence per thousand per year increasing, and it is even seen in the well developed country to lower side. You can see between up to 50, the chance will be lesser and among the 90-80, it is a, at higher side. So, full risk ratio, ratio ratios of herpes zoster according to key risk factor, number of studies included in the meta-analysis and in that there are so many comorbid conditions but among the diabetes it is the highest that is 32. Now, singles can have serious and long lasting complications. What are these? That is number one is post herpetic neuralgia, this neuropathic pain that persists for more than three months after an outbreak of herpes zoster affects up to 30 percent of the patients with singles. The, then the herpes zoster ophthalmicus, this affects up to 25 percent patients with singles and may lead to vision loss in rare cases, although it is a rarity. And the other complications was what I have already told, cardiovascular and cerebrovascular event, hearing loss, scarring, and cranial involvement. So these two post herpetic neuralgia and zoster ophthalmicus is more common. Now, how to prevent this deadly disease? So the singles with Singerix, the known live vaccine, and this has been lost by the that is PSK. Now, this prevents singles with the Singrix that is non live vaccine, and it has got the antigen that is glucoprotein E and Joster vaccine. It, this is adjuvant system and ASO01. It enhances the immune response to the vaccine antigen, and this is designed to induce a strong and sustained anti immune response and the unique combination of MPL and QS21 enhances both antibody and cellular immune response against this G. So that is the beauty, it will act over the cellular level also. Now, what is adjuvant system ASO01B enhances immune response to G? This ASO01 induces a rapid and transient activation of the innate immune response and it will affect the muscle and through that circulation and tissue this will go by lymph nodes and the early and transient response is followed by high and durable varicella zoster virus a specific response and as the disease is progressing initially 
the stronger, broader immune response will be affected, and gradually the long, longer term immune response will be also seen if you will give this drug. Now, the Singerix was thoroughly investigated in two large pivotal phase three clinical trial, and the study was done on the Joestar 006 to Joestar 022. The experimental design was randomized observer, blind placebo controlled, multi center, multinational, and the 18 countries across the North America, Europe, Latin America, Asia with 219 investigations, investigators per site. And the primary objective is to see the herpes zoster efficacy in persons aged more than 50 years and the herpes zoster efficacy in persons more than 17 years of age. The dosing schedule, vaccine or placebo administered 0.5 ml intramuscularly at the 0 and 2 month interval. The primary objective in the pooled analysis was post herpetic neuralgia efficacy in the age of 70 and above and herpes zoster efficacy in age more than 70. The actual enrollment was done for 16,160 enrolled in first and 14,816 enrolled in the second. Now, the Singerix delivered more than 90% efficacy against singles in patients of more than or equal 50 years. Age group was classified. One is more than 50, 50 to 59, then 60 to 69, and again more than 70 years of age. He just 50 has been given. This has been seen. It will affect as the age is progressing 97.2 to 97.9 percent so the efficacy is excellent and in the age group more than 70 or 70 to 79 more than 80 or equal to 80 it is also seen it is if the pre-specified pool analysis was done then 91 to 91.3 to 91.4 percent was the result now, this cigarette significantly reduces the risk of post hepatic neuralgia and all other complications related to singles, and the vaccine efficacy was seen in 91.2 to 88.8 in this age group, and the another, the, if the age is more than 70, then 93.7 to 91.7 percent if the, it has been given with relation to complications. Now, the long-term follow-up of our all vaccine efficacy has been seen with the data of 10 years, and it was seen the is 81.6% and 89% as the primary endpoint and in the secondary endpoint. So, you can see in a natural way, the result was excellent in the secondary point, endpoint also. Now, what are the adverse reactions reported post-vaccination? Mild to moderate local adverse reaction reported up to seven days post vaccination. You have seen in the all the three presenters has told the all the vaccines if it is given some adverse reactions are reported and that is the maximum is up to seven days for that the pain, redness and swelling is has been seen that is mild to moderate local adverse reaction reported up to seven days and solicited systemic adverse reaction reported post post vaccination is like fatigue fever gi upset headache myalgia and severing and that is two it is minimum in the outset you can see in the graph now safety results support the favorable benefit is profile of the cigarettes in subjects aged more than 50. Singerix has been seen, it is com comparable with placebo in overall incidence of SAEs or fetal SAEs or PIMDS at the one year post vaccination period. So you can see chart is showing the Singerix is better and at most comparable 10.1 to 10.4 as the serious adverse effects in the placebo 
एक फेटल इज वन पॉइंट जीरो टू वन पॉइंट टू वन तो इवन इन दी प्लेस वो फेटल एडवांस रिएक्शन आर मोर तो यू कैन कंपेयर एंड दिस इज दी लिस्ट साइड इफेक्ट्स नाउ इंटीग्रेटिंग थिंग रिक्स इन टू द प्रैक्टिस नाउ दिस हैज बीन लॉन्च वेरी शॉर्टली इट विल बी अवेलेबल इन द मार्केट एंड इट इज इंडिकेटेड फॉर प्रिवेंशन ऑफ हर्पिस जोस्टर पोस्ट हर्पेटिक न्यूरोलॉजिया इन एडल्ट एजेड फिफ्टी प्लस ईयर्स दैट इज दैट शुड बी दी मैंडेटरी एंड दोज पर्सन हु आर हैविंग दी अदर कॉम्प्लिकेशन लाइक डायबिटिक्स दोज हु आर इम्यूनो कॉम्प्रोमाइज दोज हु आर हैविंग दी एच आई वी दोज हु आर टेकिंग दी एस्टेरॉयड दिस शुड बी इंक्लूडेड दिस इज गिवेन इन टू डोज सीरीज प्राइमरी वैक्सीन शेड्यूल कंसिस्ट ऑफ इनिशियल डोज फॉलोड बाई सेकेंड डोज टू मंथ लेटर If flexibility in the vaccination schedule is necessary, second dose can be administered between two and six months after the first dose. But it is better to give after the two months second dose. Now, singlets is supplied in two vials for reconstitution. One vial of antigen should be reconstituted with the one accompanying vial of the adjuvant suspension, and it should be refrigerated, but do not freeze. Stored in a refrigerator. In between two degrees centigrade to eight, and after reconstitution, singlet is stable only for six hours, but that should be kept in the refrigerator. This is the drug which should be given only intramuscular, and it is not in indicated in the prevention of primary varicella infection, that is chicken pox. That one should know. the data supports co administration with the following vaccine if you will give the influenza or an adjuvant inactivated seasonal the pneumococcal and this tdp that can be co administered there is no contraindication this is currently approved in 48 countries and the 78 million dose distributed as of second quarter of the 2020 and the 48 approvals are there 18 national recommendations are there now the recommendations specific to diabetes malaria that is important part several countries specifically recommended immunization of people with diabetes and the different body has given the american diabetic association standard of medical care in diabetes so apart from the age 50 plus the diabetics are the most vulnerable and they should be given summary is Diabetes and herpes zoster worldwide. Four seventy six million individuals have diabetes. The individuals with diabetes have lower varicella zoster virus specific cell mediated immunity, so significantly higher risk of herpes zoster individuals with diabetes and pooled post hoc analysis of zoster fifty or zoster seventy showed this is efficacious in older adults with diabetes. and ada recommends this vaccine should be given in full with diabetes and it is there are certain safety information the most frequently reported adverse reaction is pain at the site and it will vanish within 7 days the myalgia that is if it is given in the overall or otherwise severe dose then fatigue headache these are the common side effects that you will see with most of the vaccine particularly when we have seen the covid at that time most of the patient is coming with they are having the fever before the immunization they are they are having no fever but with this vaccine they are getting these are the common thing so not think for that part but those who are having 50 plus this should be tried located Particularly the diabetics or the immunocompromised. Thank you.